a community of formation, a center for theology and lifelong learning, based in Pittsburgh but serving the world. The Byzantine Catholic Seminary of St. Cyril and Methodius is a community of mentors, teachers, and students forming leaders for the church in an environment of Christian unity, integrity, and missionary spirit with a commitment to ecumenism. Founded in 1950, we are a freestanding, English-speaking theological seminary, welcoming all those seeking the knowledge possessed by the Eastern ecclesial traditions. We discern and nurture the gift of vocation granted by the Holy Spirit to those men called to a life of ordained ministry. To be a Christian of the true faith is to seek perfection. In the words of the great Eastern Church Father, St. Gregory of Nyssa, one is to constantly grow in the good. This is not a one-time change, it is lifelong. It is a commitment to change in every part of our lives. It is turning our lives over to Jesus Christ so that we can be molded and formed into the person God means us to be. The Byzantine Catholic Seminary focuses on the four pillars of priestly formation, human, spiritual, academic, and pastoral. In our human formation, we are shaped into mature Christians in how we think and how we behave. Living in community, we grow in self-mastery and integrity. We learn how to better serve others and to be available to those who need us. I think living in community, we have the opportunity to serve not only ourselves and our own needs and see what we struggle with, but also seeing our brother seminarians and seeing what they maybe need help with as far as human formation goes and being able to be there for them and with them through this process and our own process of formation. Being in seminary, it's like a crash course through all the things with which you're deficient, all the things with which you say like, oh, I thought I was, I always thought I was a really honest guy or I thought I was always a really, you know, upstanding and attentive, thoughtful person and seminary really does, it puts you in the face of those questions. The seminary provides a context where you have to be open to that environment. You have to be open to others saying, here's where we see that you um, have, some, have some room to grow. And of course all of us are wounded and all of us have room to grow. So this is a really great environment for doing that um, because there's an openness. Uh, there's an openness here where if we see that uh, with our brother seminarians, we have an opportunity to help them, to prepare them uh, to minister to others, to help others be more fully human. From Divine Liturgy in the morning to Compline at night, the prayer of the liturgy is the center of our life. We pray in community and on our own. We grow in our interior life so that we can better understand and praise and serve the Lord and serve our neighbor. The benefit of having a spiritual director uh, definitely helps you grow as a man of prayer uh, and they guide you along the path of your formation process while in seminary. You know, what the seminary does, in my opinion, uh, they instill in you a habit of prayer that is necessary for pastoral ministry and also instill in you a little bit of humility. Eastern Christian theology, the Church Fathers, sacred scripture, Eastern Christian prayer, and liturgical traditions. Through our academic formation, we learn how to think with the universal church and as Eastern Catholics. I think in a general way, all intellectual formation is a help towards the priesthood. I like to think of uh, St. Paul when he says that faith comes through hearing. So, in order to hear better what the Lord has to say and to increase our faith, to remove obstacles for it, to enable us to preach our faith, um, I think academic study is very important and the formation of our minds because ultimately what we're looking for is to have the mind of Christ. And this is really one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the gift of wisdom. I feel that in my course load in intellectual formation that I'm being prepared for the priesthood, not just in being an academic or a theologian. Uh, we study all of that course material, but it all has to culminate into a single purpose. Uh, combining dogmatics and church history and uh, liturg uh, liturgical theology, it's all good to know, but it, it, has its, it finds its purpose in my pastoral care and counseling classes. It finds purpose in my homiletics courses. It's all about not how much I know, but how much I can eventually give back in, in the parishes and in the ministries that I, that I serve in. 
as a person who, who is a Byzantine Catholic, I looked at the seminary just by chance. And I looked on the website and I saw, I was really happy to see that lay people such as myself were welcome to come uh, to the seminary and I, I had no idea that that was possible. And just in terms of, of the history courses that I've taken and the, the moral theology course that I'm taking now, I, I use that in my everyday life uh, and with my family. As disciples of Jesus Christ and servants of the church, our pastoral formation molds us into men of charity and missionaries of the gospel, filled with the fervor of faith and the Holy Spirit. One of the best aspects of our seminary formation, in my view, is our going out on our pastoral formation assignment, pastoral field assignment. I feel that this is an exceptional experience, uh, one that you can't get in any other way. You can serve at your home parish, and you serve with a particular priest, you serve with other servers, perhaps with deacons, and you get to know the people there. But when they send you out to a parish that is functioning in a, a totally different community, one that you don't belong to, you get to know people in a completely different way. It really helps you grow in your understanding of the needs uh, that parishioners have. It really helps you become a, a, a better servant and disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ and serving others. During the, the summer of um, my third year, I went to what's called clinical um, pastoral education, which is hospital chaplaincy. And I worked in uh, the medical center at Houston uh, in a trauma center. And I think the, the most moving thing, the most meaningful thing about this, and what I didn't expect to happen, was to, to really have an experience of our Lord in the difficulties and sufferings uh, that these people were experiencing. So on a number of occasions, uh, praying with someone, just looking into their eyes, it really seemed as if I was looking into the eyes of our Lord Himself. To grow in the good is the best possible type of change, since it means becoming more and more like Jesus Christ every day. After our time in seminary, we go out into the world formed to preach the gospel and to live the true faith, to be fully committed Eastern Christian servants and leaders in all we do.